evening. I'm Brandi Peterson, Rob McCartney, and Melissa Fry of the day off. First at five, dog versus dog with tragic results. The Nebraska Humane Society says a dog officers describe as a pit bull mix attacked a corgi Wednesday afternoon near 41st and Cass. The corgi died from its injuries. The other dog is in impound tonight. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone just spoke with the owner of that dog accused in the attack. The owner of the pit bull mix named May was remorseful today. Her mom, Lori Palmer, just told me she spent lots of time around the dog and felt it was a gentle animal that loved people. Palmer says May did take time to adjust to other animals, and Palmer says they took precautions, watching May closely and always keeping her fenced in. She's the sweetest little animal you could ever imagine. I mean, she would hop up on your lap and just cuddle for hours and hours and hours. I mean, absolutely just the sweetest dog. She was gentle with anybody from a little toddler on up. She was just very gentle with humans. <laughs> And just a few minutes ago, we spoke with the owner of the corgi killed in that attack. Here's what he had to say. I, I hold no animosity at all towards my neighbor over this situation. She, uh, she's just as broken up about it, and uh, she's, I think she's going to lose one of her dogs as well. So it's, it's, it's tough for, for her, and it's been tough for me. The Humane Society tells us the owner of that pit bull mix did surrender her dog and receive a citation. Earlier today, we spoke with neighbors here who say they were worried for their safety. A deadly attack in this yard Wednesday morning near 41st and Cass. One family's pit bull mix jumps from behind a fence, going after a corgi neighbors say got loose from up the street. Yesterday, it was a really unfortunate incident. Kathy Deach has lived in this neighborhood a long time. 40 years, 1975. <laughs> We've been here a long time. Her in home daycare is full of little ones each day. One reason Deach says she worried about the dog next door. There's been a few times where I was in the yard and the dog jumped the fence. Since, you know, they've had the big dogs, I've never been able to, you know, let my kids play down in my lower yard where the jungle gym and things are just because of. You know, safety concerns. James Dugdale's home backs up to where the pit bull mix used to live. I just had a feeling it, there was a, a powder keg about ready to go off there. He says this isn't the first time there have been issues. I got my car, drove around there. There's a lot of neighbors congregating. Uh, the homeowner was grabbing her dog. The Nebraska Humane Society responded to the call Wednesday. The owner of both dogs were on the scene of the incident. They're both very upset about what happened. Langan says this is the time for pet owners to be careful. We see this every year with the weather warming up. More people are out, more dogs are out. And neighbor Deach says the same. She hopes everyone remembers to watch their pets. People just need to uh, be concerned. Summer's coming again. People out walking their dogs, letting their dogs out in the yard. They just have to, you know. Uh, keep an eye on him. The pit bull mix will be put down. Today, the Humane Society says it doesn't have any record of other calls to that address. The Humane Society doesn't track a number, though, of how many of these animal versus animal attacks there have been. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7. Thank you, Alexandra.